being released on Netflix at the end of Pride Month. There's a beautiful um, theme of acceptance and a gay love story, there's a kiss. Um, how meaningful was it for you to be involved in a project with those elements? Incredibly meaningful. You know, this is a project that we started recording back in 2019. It originally was at, you know, Big Sky and Disney, and then when Disney, when Big Sky got shut down, it fell apart. And it was such a, you know, a devastating day for us to think that this beautiful movie wouldn't be seen for the world. You know, this is a movie that, in my opinion, I felt incredibly seen by when I sat in the theater and I finally got to see it. A lot of my friends that came to see it felt incredibly seen by this. And I think it's something that starts a conversation in a way that we can all come to the table and see each other for who we are and have those, you know, those hard hitting conversations and, and, and just be accepted to be ourselves right there. Tell me a little bit about what you connected with um, the characters specifically and also with all the shape shifting, what was it like to sort of physicalize that? I imagine you did in the vocal group. Give us a little idea yeah. of doing that. <laughs> sure, I mean, I really, I really uh, connected with Nimona's kind of affectation of how she can be really kind of hard and putting her exterior on and hiding her true emotion. And then, you know, in those moments after the chaos, she really finds her vulnerability and she says a couple lines that come out and it's so raw and so vulnerable. And it reminds me of when I was younger where I was just, you know, covering up so much of who I am and you grow up and you find your vulnerability and you find that it's okay to be who you are and you're like, okay, I can do this, it's okay. Uh, so I really, really connected to her and I think a lot of people will. And then becoming the Mona, becoming a shapeshifter was crazy. It was like high highs, low lows, trying to find all the in between. I remember a very specific scene where I had to become an ostrich running around in a fight sequence and I was like, what the heck does an ostrich sound like? And it sounds pretty psychotic. <laughs>